On July 4, 2016, America will celebrate the 50th anniversary of the signing of the Freedom of Information Act. This law, commonly known as the FOIA, provides the public with the right to request access to government records so that citizens can be informed about what is known and done by their government. Opening up government records also helps ensure that the government is accountable to the people. As President James Madison, widely regarded as the founder of open government, once wrote, knowledge will forever govern ignorance, and a people who mean to be their own governors must arm themselves with the power which knowledge gives. In 1966, President Lyndon Johnson signed the Freedom of Information Act, setting a new standard for openness in government. President Johnson stated, A democracy works best when the people have all the information that the security of the nation permits. I signed this measure with a deep sense of pride that the United States is an open society in which the people's right to know is cherished and guarded. Stuart Dellery is the Acting Associate Attorney General and serves as the Chief FOIA Officer of the Department of Justice. The Department of Justice has played a special role in the administration of the FOIA since it became law, and we're excited to celebrate this milestone in its history. In addition to managing our own FOIA responsibilities, we oversee the government's implementation of this very important law and provide guidance to all federal agencies. President Obama has emphasized the importance of the FOIA throughout his administration. The way to make government responsible is to hold it accountable. And the way to make government accountable is to make it transparent so that the American people can know exactly what decisions are being ma made, how they're being made, and whether their interests are being well served. The Freedom of Information Act is perhaps the most powerful instrument we have for making our government honest and transparent. The Justice Department immediately embraced its new responsibilities under this law, issuing guidelines to agencies on the administration of the Act. Since 1967, the Department has continued its work of encouraging agency compliance with this important law. Melanie Paste is the Director of the Department of Justice's Office of Information Policy, which issues policy guidance and provides training and counsel on the FOIA for all federal agencies. The public's use of the FOIA to access government information has grown considerably over the years. For example, in the first five years of the law, the Justice Department received only 535 FOIA requests. But decades later, those numbers have increased dramatically. In 2015, the Department of Justice received over 67,000 FOIA requests. And since 2009, the government overall is on pace to receive and process over 4 million requests. Now these include requests from authors researching a book, students learning about their government, journalists preparing a story, scientists conducting research, and any citizen who's interested in government benefits and services. So every year, the government discloses millions of pages of records that are of interest to the public on topics ranging from historical documents on notable figures and events to records on health care, consumer products, agriculture, space exploration, transportation, law enforcement, education, and many other current events. The FOIA gives any person the right to request access to federal agency records. It also requires agencies to make certain records available proactively. When enacting the FOIA, Congress sought to strike a workable balance between the right of the public to know how their government works and the need of the government to protect certain information. For example, government records can contain information that would invade personal privacy, hinder law enforcement efforts, or harm national security if disclosed. When requests are made, agencies search for records and disclose the requested information unless protection is necessary under one of FOIA's nine limited exemptions. Year after year, agency FOIA processors work tirelessly to carefully examine each requested record to ensure that we disclose as much information as possible while also striking the balance the law intended. Over the years, the FOIA has been amended on a number of occasions to adapt to the times and changing priorities. The FOIA was first amended in 1974 
to, among other things, require agencies to release portions of documents even when the entire document is not releasable. In 1986, the law was amended again to provide greater protection for law enforcement information. Born in an age of paper records, the FOIA did not originally contemplate the handling of electronic records. In 1996, Congress updated the FOIA by clarifying that the law applies to electronic records and by allowing requesters to ask for their records in an electronic format. The amendments also called on agencies to make proactive disclosures available electronically, which led to the creation of online FOIA libraries. More recently, the FOIA was amended in 2007 to add the key role of the chief FOIA officer at every agency. This individual is responsible for the agency's overall FOIA administration and reports directly to the agency head and the attorney general. Over the years, as the law has evolved, agencies have improved the way they handle FOIA requests. For a long time, agencies overwhelmingly responded to requests by first searching by hand for paper records that were stored in filing cabinets or sometimes even boxes. FOIA officials then reviewed those records manually and made proposed redactions using highlighters or red redaction tape. Agencies had supply cabinets filled with El Marco magic markers, and for a while, the invention and use of post-it notes was a real step forward. So FOIA processing procedures have evolved dramatically with our changing technology. A Department of Justice survey in 2010 showed that agencies are embracing a range of technology tools to process and track FOIA requests. Agencies have also made significant strides in the ways they provide records to the public proactively. In the early years, agencies established reading nooks, typically in their headquarters, and they were called FOIA reading rooms. And those were places where the public could come to view documents that were required to be proactively disclosed. As technology advanced, agencies replaced those physical rooms with the dedicated pages on their FOIA websites that are referred to as electronic reading rooms or FOIA libraries. So now, rather than having to travel to an agency's physical reading room in an office building, any member of the public can access posted material from any location at any time. Beyond proactively posting new information online, agencies also continue to focus on making the information on their websites more useful to the public. Increasingly, agencies are posting material in open formats, deploying advanced search capabilities, and utilizing social media to reach wider audiences. The website FOIA.gov, created by DOJ, transformed the way information on the FOIA itself is made available to the public. Launched in 2011, FOIA.gov provides the public educational material about how the FOIA works, where to make requests, and what to expect through the FOIA process. FOIA.gov also includes a search feature where keywords can be used to find records that are already posted online, making it easier for individuals to find information without ever having to submit a request. The site also alerts the public to FOIA news posted by the Department of Justice and spotlights examples of FOIA releases made by agencies. In addition, FOIA.gov serves as a visual report card on agency FOIA compliance, graphically conveying, for example, how many requests are received and processed by each agency and over time. As demand for FOIA continues to increase each year, agencies strive to implement their responsibilities with a focus on good customer service. Over the past several years in particular, the Department of Justice has stressed the importance of customer service, including good communication with requesters, and the importance of outreach to the requester community. The department has facilitated this outreach through requester roundtables, town hall meetings, best practices workshops, and collaboration on FOIA initiatives, such as the launch of FOIA.gov. The United States was one of the first countries to adopt a freedom of information law and over the past 50 years, we have served as a model for other countries around the world. Now, over 95 countries celebrate the use of laws that provide a right of access to information, which is the bedrock of open government. As the FOIA has matured over the past 50 years, one thing remains clear. The public's interest in its government increases with each passing year. 
This increasing demand for government records is compounded by the many different types of records that can be requested. To meet these challenges, the government is embracing new technologies that allow us to provide improved services to the American public in administering the FOIA. In the past few years, agencies have substantially improved both the quantity and the quality of the information made available to the public online. For example, the Department of the Interior provides an interactive map describing its renewable energy related activities. The Department of Agriculture uses an interactive resource called Ask Karen to provide information to consumers about safe food handling. The Environmental Protection Agency provides a tool that allows anyone to instantly determine whether there are any records of environmental concern on a particular property. Over the past seven years, agencies have also been able to revolutionize the amount and the way government data is made available to the public. Organizations and entrepreneurs are collecting and combining that data in new ways, spurring new innovation and creating cost savings, efficiency, and improved civic services. The applications and services they have developed assist the public in a wide variety of ways, from choosing financial aid options for college to finding the safest consumer products and vehicles. As the department celebrates the 50th anniversary of the FOIA, we applaud all the hard work done by agency FOIA professionals who provide this important service to the American public. Through their efforts, the FOIA has become a fundamental tool for our democracy and a key part of ensuring the open government that our founding fathers envisioned.